great. Ty Brennan is live at Girl Gang Garage and Ty, I'm sure it smells a little like oil. You know, like I love changing my own oil with my dad because that it just brings back memories of being a kid and learning for the first time to do it with him. Does it smell like that in there right now? It does. I think you'd feel right at home in here, Celeste, because it's got that oil smell. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed that you can change your own oil, too. That's awesome. I don't know how to do that. Still take it to the shop and pay an arm and a leg every <laughs> single time. I'm here with my friend Bogey. You started this shop back in 2016, you said, right? Correct. Yeah. Now, why did you want to do this? Well, you know, I've been a mechanic for about 20 years, and as a woman coming up in the industry way back in the day, um, I faced a lot of struggles, a lot of difficulty, a lot of pushback, and so it's always kind of been a passion of mine to use automotive knowledge to empower, you know, the average driver all the way up to creating more space within the automotive industry for women, creating opportunities for them to learn, see what they're interested in, um, and really to empower women through automotive knowledge. Let me just take, you said you started this back in 20 years ago, I mean, that was kind of, you were breaking a lot of glass ceilings coming into an industry that was very male dominated. In a lot of ways, yes. Back when I started out, uh, women made up about 1.8% of all automotive 1. technicians. 1.8. Yeah. And wow. it was pre-social media, right? So we, even the ones of us that did exist, we never really knew about each other. So there was always this feeling of being an only. Sure. And there's, there's a real disconnect. So the need for places like this, even now that we have social media, the opportunity for women in the trades to come together, meet one another, feel normalized, feel validated, um, and really boost their confidence and ability to kind of go back out into their careers and, and achieve at a higher level. And the, your, your eye for detail, because I was just admiring your <laughs> gorgeous cars here. Thank you. Let's talk about those cars first. Can you walk us through what we've got over here? Yeah, absolutely. So this one is our second all-female build that we built. It unveiled at SEMA, which is like the Super Bowl of car shows uh, in 2019. And uh, this is a 1957 right, 1956, excuse me, a Chevy pickup truck. Um, we built this one to be a little bit more in tune with kind of what it would be like back in the day yeah. if they had all of the technology sure. that we have today. So a little bit more of a classic restoration while still being a mm -hmm. resto mod. Um, very, very much opposed to our first all-female build where we did some crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, put a BMW M5 in the 57 <laughs> Chevy pickup truck. And, you know, it's for us, it's all about really pushing ourselves um, pushing the industry, making a big statement, and drawing attention. Because when we do something goofy like this, it creates conversation. Yeah. And every time somebody walks by and says, what the heck is that? Mm -hmm. uh, we get to have a conversation about women in the trades and hopefully change some hearts and minds. Bogey, I was, I'm, I'm like scared to get close to it because this is like a work <laughs> of art. And Mike is making me very, very nervous, nervous her with that camera getting very close. But he's a professional, I should yes. say. Uh, let's talk about this because we've got about just about 30 seconds left. Okay. But you guys offer classes for women. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. But why was that so important for you to do? We want to create less barriers of entry for women to explore the trades, whether they pursue it as a hobby or whether they pursue it as a career at some point, women don't generally have a chance to get hands on a plasma cutter or a welder or a set of wrenches and really explore and experiment with these things. And you don't know if you're going to like something or excel at something until you try it. But this purpose is to reduce those barriers of entry, give people an opportunity, get their foot in the door, try it out see if they like it. That is so cool that you guys are offering this right here in the Valley. I love this. Uh, so stay with us. We're going to be coming back in just about 20 minutes or so and talk to them about those classes, how you can get signed up. And they're for all ages, really. So if you start, you have a 16-year-old that maybe just started, uh, got their driver's license, you want to get her involved, we'll talk about all that coming up in just a few minutes. AM is back. Welcome back. Ty is live with the ladies in the garage. Hey, Ty, good morning, buddy. They putting you to work? Good morning once again, Celeste. They are putting me to work. This place is so cool, and they are just blowing my mind with the detail, the craftsmanship on these cars. These are all female-built cars that they did. And look, over here, Shonda, what is this? Uh, art. Art, art, art. You see the polka dots? <laughs> no, this is our latest all-female build project that we're doing. So Bogey mentioned earlier, this is the husk of a... 61 Volvo PV 544 and the wonderful array of polka dots on it is because we are going to do a 3D scan of the car so that we can later convert that into CAD. So then what does that mean? You're going to like print pieces for it? Yes, yes. 3D printing. We're going to do some 3D printing which is a first for us. We were lucky to partner with Stratasys and the great folks of PADT are here today helping us get a good 
full body scan of the car so that we can make more thoughtful decisions yeah. when we're creating parts for the car. So right now you guys are looking for women here in yes. the state of Arizona that want to help you and they don't have to have any experience, right? Correct. We want women not just from the state of Arizona, from all over the United States to come out. You can hit us on our website, www.girlganggarage.com, or on social media. We're at Girl Gang Garage on Instagram and Facebook. So, yes, if you're willing, you have no experience required, just come play and learn some stuff. We've got about 40 seconds left, but that's kind of how you got involved in all this, right? Totally, yeah. Bogey had an open call on social media. The first project, Chevy Montage, was just supposed to be a project. I had no previous experience. I was bored and I was like, I've never done anything with cars. So like, <laughs> let's let go me, try. Let's try. And here I am now. This is, with her. this is fantastic. So we'll put all that information on our website as well. But real quick, I want to talk because you guys do offer classes for women. Because it can yes. be daunting going into a mechanic when you have something wrong. If you have a little bit of knowledge, it might help, right? It does. It makes all the difference. Just being able to be aware of the condition of things and be able to just visually look. So much of the elements of a car, we just as consumers, if we take the time to look at them regularly, we can see where there's wear in our brake sure. pads. We can, sure. we can see things before they become a array bigger of problem. dash icons. Yeah. But yeah, we have a women's car care class the last Saturday of every month okay. here at Grogan. Okay, I'll we'll put that all on the website. Thank you so much. Thank you. Best of luck. Look how cool this is, you guys. All these little dots, going to be 3D scanned, new pieces. Piece I want to come back. We're going to come back. It is a piece of art. I think we should come back and show in yeah. a couple of months. Absolutely. We'll mark that down, producer Jen. Have a it's great day. Bye-bye. Have a great day.